I'm going to use my freshly grown basil right out of my little garden to use in this fish recipe. So I'm going to cut just uh, some leaves. I don't need too much, just maybe enough for a cup worth of uh, basil. So this is all I'm gonna use in this recipe. That's a perfect amount of fresh basil. And I'll tell you what, there's nothing like fresh basil. All right, I've got all my ingredients ready. So fresh cod, olive oil, you can use extra virgin for a little more quality, kosher, kosher salt, onion, garlic, tomato, and the star ingredient, basil. You saw me cut it just out of my garden, so I really love using fresh basil. There's nothing like it. So, to make this recipe, you need a skillet that goes from stovetop to oven. Um, and I like the scan pan. Uh, it's ceramic titanium. Uh, pan so it's easily going from uh, the stovetop to 400 or 425 degree oven and the reason is that we'll need to cook the onions tomatoes basil and garlic and a little bit of the fish and then uh, we'll top the fish with it and bake it in the oven and that's how we make delicious Mediterranean cod I'm going to start by preheating my oven to 425 degrees. All right, so I pre-sliced some onions. I only used about a half of my large onion. You can tell it's a cup or a little bit more than that. Uh, somewhat coarsely chopped. You don't want it to be too small because you need a little bit of the onion flavor. And then I minced two big cloves of garlic. If you don't have big cloves, then use a couple more than two. Um, next up, I preheated the pan. Make sure you have a hot pan uh, and add olive oil. And I'm going to add my onion and garlic to it. All right, I preheated a pan with olive oil and I added my onion to it. You need to have a really hot pan to make sure you really caramelize that onion. Onion goes first and then I'm going to add the garlic. All right, I added a little bit of garlic to the pan and uh, a tiny bit of paprika. That's optional, but I like to add that for a little bit of a kick. And I'm going to reduce the heat a tiny bit, just to make sure we don't burn the onions. Next up, I'm slicing the tomatoes and basil. And I'm going to add my sliced tomatoes first, and then basil at the very end. It smells amazing, the onions, the garlic, and there's nothing like fresh basil. All right, make sure you stir the tomatoes with onions and garlic, and um, we're going to add a little bit of salt and black pepper. Pepper is optional, just like paprika. Uh, all you need really is salt. And then uh, we'll add basil at the end. At the very, very end, we don't never want to overcook the herbs. And then make sure you have a little container nearby, or, or a little bowl, so you can put that mixture because you're going to put your cod on the pan. All right, so you're going to cook the tomatoes just a couple minutes until they soften, and at that point you add the basil. So it's just like three minutes at the most. Uh, you can even press them down a little bit to make them a little bit more like a paste. But don't use a paste. This recipe is perfect with fresh tomatoes. Um, and once you add the basil, it's probably another minute, and then we'll set that aside in our bowl and uh, put the cod on the pan. And here's your mixture, resting until we top the fish with it. Okay, I added a little bit more olive oil to the pan, it was a little dry, and you put the fish face down or skin up on the pan for just a couple minutes. Once that's done, you're gonna flip it over, cook for another couple minutes, top it with your tomato basil mixture, and put it in the oven. All right, don't wait too long to flip it over, literally just a couple minutes, maybe just a minute. Once you flip it over another minute, then we'll top it and put it in the oven. All right, we topped our fish 
with the tomato, onion, garlic, basil mixture. And it's going into the 425 degree oven for 18 to 20 minutes. All right, the fish is ready. Look how beautiful it looks right out of the oven. And you can tell it's ready by um, it being kind of flaky. You know, when one or, you don't want to overcook it, but you want to make sure that it gets that nice uh, caramelized crust at the top for the veggies. Thanks for cooking with me. I hope you enjoyed this Mediterranean cod recipe. This is Anna Harris with FitEatRest.com. You can find more recipes like this on the website. And um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. I'm Anna Harris, personal trainer and nutrition coach, reminding you to stay fit, eat well, and take time for yourself.